Right, it is now time to get our van packed up and make it our own. Let's go find a place for everything so everything has a place. The Swift Contiki 874 comes with six rear lockers around the back lounge. That means that each of the bigger people gets one large one each. And George being George, we've decided he can have two. He's got one for his boring old clothes that we make him have and one for his most treasured possession. So in here he has his snuggliest pajamas, um, his guns, toy guns obviously, his goggles, a flashlight, some walkie talkies, oh and some sunglasses as well. There are also two, I'm loving this, two hanging wardrobes, one either side. Um, at the moment we've got both mine and Steve's and anybody who wants something hung in here, our clothes, and I'm using the bottom for my treasured possessions, my vitamins and my beauty products. So they're all close at hand when I'm in bed. On this side for now, what we've decided is we're going to use it for our bedding storage for the winter bedding. Um, in the summer, we have really lightweight blankets that just fold up into cushions. So we won't need to use it for that. We can use it for whatever we want. Next stop is in the bathroom. We have got these little crates that we got from Ikea and we got them for our last one and they fit perfectly in the bottom cupboard. This one is full of our potions and you know when you're traveling with children you've got a potion or medication or something for every eventuality. Well mine's all in here. Um, we're also using this bottom cupboard for cleaning products and toiletries and baby wipes for the days that we don't have a shower in here. The top cupboard at the moment we have shampoos and suntan lotions and the bottom shelf is for the toothbrushes, toothpaste, deodorants, hand soap, all the things that we need daily but we don't want to leave them out on the side while we're traveling. We've also put one of our famous octopuses, another IKEA special, into the bathroom to hang up our dressing gowns. And it's really good because the, the metal hanger that comes as standard in this van now is the perfect place to uh, hang it from. I am loving my new kitchen. I was a little worried at first because it felt like we'd lost some lockers, but the cupboards we have are actually massive. Um, obviously, we've got our bread bin. It's only a bread bin when we travel or when, when Steve cooks it's microwave for definite. We keep things in there. These cupboards are a great size and that's where the majority of our food, tins, dry pasta, that kind of thing, our ingredients go. I am loving having such a big freezer. So far I've put in uh, burgers, chicken keeves, uh, chocolate eclairs, I've got birthday cake and I've got sausage meat because these make the best sandwiches to go in that and I've still got loads of room for ice cream and whatever else we want. I love the size of this fridge as well it's enormous I've got pre-cooked curry and chili the ingredients for carbonara so I've got three main meals in here which would have absolutely topped off our last fridge in here I've got drinks, I've got yogurts, I've got the meals and there'll still be some room left over for some other bits as well. Absolutely, it's a much bigger fridge isn't it? Much bigger, I love really it. Really happy with the fridge. Yeah. And of course the fact that the door opens both ways. <laughs> Fancy. Easy to reach for some white wine from the rear lounge. <laughs> Definitely. This drawer for now I'm keeping my utensils in, I'm not sure it's right but I'm going to live with it and see. This drawer here is where I've got my pans and they fit beautifully in there. And again, not sure if that's be, that'll be where they end up, but for now, I think that's the right place. So it's obvious that the white wine is going to go in the fridge, but where am I going to put my red wine? I think this is the cupboard for it down here. There looks to be some space that will be perfect there you go oh that's also got a slidey out drawer where my cleaning products are again everything will be assessed as we live with it and finally the huge enormous cupboard 
this is there's no other choice for where the knives and forks go there is a drawer built in and it's perfect knives forks spoons and at the moment we've got plates and bowls in the middle mugs on top and some food down at the bottom we absolutely love this living space it is fantastic we're all finding our own little seats when we're enjoying it um I have been practicing turning the seats into the agouti seats, into the travel seats. I'll show you that now. First job is to flip over the table. I should come and do this from the front. Then we need to get rid of these two cushions. So I'm going to change these two for traveling seats. So these go towards the back for traveling. These are the cushions we're going to use up to make up these two agouti seats. So move them out of the way. Headrests are stored down the back there. There's a twist handle. Twist it back, lift the seat up, remove a stuff cushion that we're keeping down there for now. Place that there. This base fits nicely here. The headrest goes in there. And you separate the thin back cushion from the thin cushion. And that fits there. I reckon that was less than a minute now. Getting good at this. Steve is really chuffed that our old bedding fits on here. We've stuck with the red bedding up top for the boys. So it doesn't need replacing. I, however, was hoping it wouldn't quite have fit so I could get some sunshine yellow bedding. But look at that. Look how low it comes down. We're probably going to leave it slightly higher for the boys to um, sleep on so George can be comfortable underneath on the longer of the two sofas. I think that's how we'll do it. We're also loving the fact that we can store all the bedding on this bed and then just put it away. It's no fuss. It's nice and tidy. It all fits and then it squeezes back up there we go another great feature i love is how we can empty our wastewater just by the click of a button from this control panel much much easier than our old van we've lost the uh, dual floor compared to the old model but we've gained a garage and it is fantastic so we've got some boxes to store everything in and we've got our trusty tables and benches in the garage and still plenty of room left and in the additional side covers we've got all of our chairs and outside utensils and of course we've got a slide out locker where we've got our cooker and some gas hoses in so plenty of storage on this one we've lost some storage but we've gained in other places well that's it we've got everything that we want in the van now the fridge is full the cupboards are full we've got all the bedding on we've all got fresh clothes and i think we've all got our toothbrushes now it's time to go on our very first trip in this new van.